dirty 30, quick and dirty 30 lower body workout today. So you will need a bench or a stool or something that you can put your um, back foot up on for some split squats. And then we're gonna do heel elevated squats. So you'll need an extra pair of dumbbells or the stair or whatever you use to get those heels up on for those heel elevated squats. Um, and that's it, we have five movements. We're gonna crank through those five movements three times. It should be about a 30 minute workout plus the couple of minutes that we use for our warm up. But should be good, effective. Uh, it's gonna be a quad dominant. You're gonna get the glutes in there, but you're probably gonna feel most of this in the front of those legs. All right, so let's get warming up. Let's start with our walkout. Arms over the head, hinge at the hips, walk it out. <laughs> Give me that runner's lunge, drop the elbow. Other side. Good, give me that pigeon. Getting that shin nice and vertical to the hips. Make sure you're not rolled over and laying on your hip. Working on getting this stretch bigger and bigger each time you do it. More mobility, more flexibility. Good, good. Okay, high toe touches. Let's go. Touch, squeeze those glutes. Touch, squeeze those glutes. Walk it up. Two more, guys. Hinge at the hips. Walk it out. Runner's lunge. Drop and rotate. Switch sides. Give me that pigeon. Side. So I'm recording this one, guys. It's Thursday, oh, July 22nd, I believe, is where we are. I think so, the 22nd. All right, toe touches. It is a rainy day. Oh, walk it up. I can't get warm. I got four hours of sleep last night. Walk it out. My kid is going through some kind of sleep regression where she is waking up every night somewhere between 1.30 and 2.30 and last night she would not go back to bed so I can't like warm up today on top of the rainy cold day five fingers down because my sleep was down so I'm sure my cortisol is all jacked today switch sides so I'm grateful for this quick and dirty 30 minute workout effective but we can get in get out okay fight toe touch plank Pike, plank, walk it up. All right, our 90-90s, all right? In 90-90 position, 90 in this back knee, 90 in the front knee, hinge forward at the hip. Keep those feet in place, rotate over. Again, hinge forward, we're gonna do 10 of these. This is two, and over, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good. Okay, hip bridge with a diagonal reach, lat reach. So right here, come up in that hip bridge. Big diagonal reach, open that whole side up, lower all the way down, other side. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, stay right here. Sideline rotations. Arms together. Rotate. Look at that hand. One. Two. Getting nice and opened up. Because even though it's 30 minutes, it's still a tough lower body workout. That's four. One more. Five. And we need to have that lower body, our back. Everything nice and loosened up. Our glutes activated. Ready to go. Three. Four, one more, and five. 
Okay, butterfly sit up, soles of the feet together, let those hips drop, open up those inner thighs. We've got six of these. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, one more, and six. Good. All right, bring it up. 15 jacks. Get that blood pumping. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. High knees. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But kickers. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, guys. So how it's going to go is we're going to do five movements. Each movement, the reps increase by two. So we're going to start at eight, end up at 16. Let me get my timer going here for today. All right, get this one. So first we have a split squat to a lunge. All right, so you're gonna need your rear foot. Bulgarian split squat just means that the back foot goes up on the bench. If you don't have a bench or anything that you can elevate your foot on, you can just do a split squat, which just means both feet are on the floor, and you're gonna drop down that squat, and then come forward into a forward lunge, okay? Otherwise, back foot is elevated, all right? Working on getting that back knee nice and low, coming out, stepping into a forward lunge, and reset each time. So we have eight on each side, eight on each side. My knee is still giving me a little bit of fit. I'm gonna go my first round with some lighter weight, feel it out. Um, definitely do not let my weight determine yours. I know some of you do, you look at what I'm using um, and then it gives you an idea. So today is not one of those workouts. Um, I'm keeping it light just to keep, just to see how my knee goes. All right, so we're gonna go right leg first, right leg back on that bench. Shoulders back and down, core is braced. Slight hinge forward in those hips for that split squat. Take it down, and then forward into a lunge. One, take your time, reset each one. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, one more, eight. Okay, set it up, other side for eight. Here we go, foot back. All right, I'm check myself. All right, here we go. Drop down and lunge. One. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. And four. Down. And five. Down. And six. Down. Seven. One more. And eight. Good. Next is our heel. Elevated squats. I'm officially warm now. So you need a set of dumbbells, a stair, whatever it is that you're using to elevate those heels. Okay? So I'm going to use Nice and controlled. 
All right, so if you have issues with form, back off your weight a little bit, get your form down, then you can always add on more weight. All right, we have 10, 10 of these. Shoulders back and down, core brace in my toes. Let's go slide, lower, push up through those toes. Squeeze it tight, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Good. All right, next we have a one and a half goblet. So gonna hold the weight at your chest, all right? You're gonna lower down, come halfway up, lower back down, come all the way out. So one and a half squats, all right? All right let me get a good weight. I'm gonna go with my 35 on this. We have 12, 12 of these guys. Okay, shoulders back and down. Abs in, I'll go this way so you can see nice and tight. Weights in the heels, ready? Let's go. Down, half up back down and up. Make sure you're bracing that core like someone's getting ready to walk up and punch you in the gut through all 12 reps, okay? Keep it back in your heels. Let's go. Down, up, down, two. Down, up, down, three. Down, up, down, four. Down, up, down, five. Down, up, down, six, down, up, down, seven, down, up, down, eight, keep that core tight, down, up, down, nine, down, up, down, ten, two more, down, up, one more, down, up, down, and 12, good. Okay, next, we have 16 jumping lunges weighted, okay? So options for this, if you can't jump with a weight just yet, then just work on the jumping lunges, okay? Working on building your uh, power with your jumping moves, or maybe you need to back off the weight with your jumping lunges, or if jumping bothers you, you're gonna do reverse lunges, as fast as you can, okay, with weight, so. All right, so we have 16, no, I'm sorry, 14 of these, seven on each leg. All right, ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, three, two, and one, good. Out of those. Now we have 16 body weight squats. I'm gonna get a drink real quick. Couple deep breaths. Heart rate is gonna be up on this one because it is a condensed 30 minutes and we're trying to get a lot of work in, but I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be up in my red zone, okay? All right, 16 body weight squats. Weights in the shoulders, shoulders back and down. Core is in nice and tight. Work on your depth with these. Let's go. Down, drive and squeeze. One, keeping that core tight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hopefully, 
Feet back to good. All right, here we go. One split squat, one forward lunge. Shoulders back and down, core's nice and tight. Take it down, and then lunge. One. Take your time with these. Two. Three. Make sure, right here, we're coming all the way out of that split squat before we go into our lunge. Four. Separate movements, okay? Two separate movements. Up. Five. Six. Seven. One more. And eight. Woo. Take a couple of deep breaths. Get my heart rate at 138. Don't want to get much higher. Especially on a really bad sleep day, like I had, doing a high intensity interval training type workout. Not that I would, but doing something like that on a low sleep day. Is just a disaster. It's just a disaster waiting to happen for you. All right, here we go. Drop down. It's gonna jack your cortisol levels up even more. It's probably gonna screw with your appetite all day. It's gonna screw with your mood. It's gonna screw with your workout the following day. Your ability to recover. Three. Four. Right 
We're about 14 minutes in. This is definitely going to fit in a 30, and I think I'm going to be able to fit a couple ab rounds in too. That was the intention, but sometimes how you think these workouts, I write them out, and I feel like they're going to go like faster than they do, and sometimes they end up going really slow. So even though I've been doing this forever and doing, you know, writing them, it's just hard to tell sometimes. It's honestly hard to tell how your timing is going to work. So you just do your best. All right, here we go. 16 jumping lunges or reverse lunges um, at your pace, your level, whatever you want. I mean, 14, excuse me, 14. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, three, two, one. Woo. All right, 16 body weight squats. 16 body weight squats. A couple deep breaths. All right, here we go. Working on our range. Shoulders back and down, weights in the heels. Core is nice and braced. Let's go. Down, drive and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, Six, keeping that back nice and flat. Seven, eight, nine, ten, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, catch your breath. One more run, one more time through, excuse me. And then we'll hit a little finisher. A little finisher. Woo. Couple deep breaths. Okay. Split squat to forward lunge. All right, let's rock and roll, guys. Let's rock and roll. All right, taking your time with these. Power pause, but moving too fast, too slow. Pause it, work at your level. All right, you ready? Let's go. Down and forward. One. Two. We're going to get those split squats. Nice and deep. Three. Four. Five. Remember to come all the way out of that split squat before you go into your lunge. One more. Woo. All right, small break. Yeah, heart rate is way high now. A couple deep breaths. Woo. Okay. higher again because of the lack of sleep right now my levels are this is gonna be off today all right here we go drop down because of that four hours I got sleep I got only 20 minutes was REM and about 40 minutes of deep sleep so I got really shitty four hours sleep on top of it three four Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay. Woo. All right. Oh, wait, sweat real quick. Going to those heel elevated squats. That was for me to bring my towel down here. Nice deep breaths while you're setting this up. Woo. Okay. We got 10 of these. All right, let's go. 
Get rid of these guys. Toes down, heels up, shoulders back and down. Core is braced. Ready? Break at those knees. Let the hips follow. Push up through the toes. One. Two. Three. Four. Halfway right there. Six. Seven. Eight. Ooh, my knee's starting to light up. Nine. Woo. Okay. And ten. That was ugly. Woo. Because my knee. Ah, so frustrating. Okay. All right, I'm going to keep pushing through. I'm going to back off my weight on my goblets because I need. I'm going to go down to 25. Was using 35. Let's see how this works. All right, one and a half. One and a half. Weight in the heel. Shoulders back and down. Core is tight. Let's go. Ooh. One. I'm just going to limit my range as well, guys. Two. I don't want to have to stop recording this one. Three, not this far into it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I gotta go with that weight. You guys keep your weight. Here we go. Eight. Really gonna tighten my range up. Nine, whew, six more. Ten. Eleven. One more. And twelve. Whew. All right, check it out. Get my heart rate down for a second. So weird. So it just does that. That far in, and it just like that, instant. Instant pain. It's not gradual, which would make sense. The instant. I don't get it. But, anyways. All right, our jumping lunges. I'm gonna go with that weight on these. I'm gonna back off. So we have just jumping lunges and body weight squats left. Um, so I'm gonna keep my jumping lunges body weight just because of the knee. You do not slack. All right, you keep working at your same level. All right, we have 14 of these. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, body weight squats for 16. Okay, go deep breaths. All right, shoulders back and down. Abs in nice tight. Again, I'm going to shorten my range. You work on getting those hips low. I'm going to keep mine short, keep the pressure off my knee. Obviously, I need to rest it a little bit longer. So, here we go. Down. One. Two. Four tight. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 5, 4, I'm sorry, keep going, that's 4, I was counting 15, not 16, 3, 2, one more, and 1, alright, there's those 16, alright, yes, we are 23 minutes in, we are going to hit a little finisher, okay, so, I was going to use this bench, but now since my knee is hurting, I'm not going to, you're going to need a step, or a bench or a chair or something, okay? So I'm gonna use my lower, my smaller bench here. Keep it light on my knee. So what we're gonna do for 30 seconds is one foot on the bench, you're gonna squat, push, tighten this leg up, drive this knee up, okay? So you're gonna do that for 30 seconds. So get a stair, a stool, a step, a chair, anything that will hold your body weight and you can work hard on for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go to the floor and do a side line V up. Then we're gonna do our other knee and a side line V up, okay? So two minutes, you'll have a break for transitions, but 30 seconds on the box, 30 on the floor, 30 back on the box, 
30 back on the floor, all right? So, we will start in 10 seconds. I'm gonna have to hold this so I can watch it. Turn my nose here, up here. Okay, we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Squat and drive, okay? Keep that core tight. Make sure your whole foot is what on the platform that you're standing on. Squeeze it tight at the top. Squat and push. You're halfway, 15 seconds. It's not about how fast you can go, it's about control of that squat. Drive, squeeze. Three, two, one. Okay, to the floor. Move my box really quick. So, right leg is up. All right, you're gonna lay in a V like this. Arm over the head, and we're gonna come up and reach the fingertips to the toes. 30 seconds worth. In five, three, two, let's go, get it up. 30 seconds. Again, not about speed, about opening and closing with control. Open big, tighten up. Up, you're halfway, 15 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. 10 seconds, guys. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Good. Get your box. Now put that left foot on the box. All right. We start in three, two, and one. Let's go squat and push. Core's in nice and tight. Whole foot is on your bench, your stair, your step, whatever you're using. Halfway. Ten seconds. Come on. Three. Okay, 
So actively, forcefully pressing your back into the floor through this whole movement, okay? Legs go up, pressing down. We're gonna lower one leg at a time, keeping that back flat. So only take your legs as low as you can, keeping your back down. If it starts to arch, don't go so low with those legs, all right? 30 seconds worth. In five, three, two, and one. Let's go. Press that back down. Nice and slow with those legs. It is not about speed. You're not scissoring them. It's slow and controlled, thinking about pressing that back into the floor. Come on. Last 30 seconds of work, and we're right here at that 30 minute mark. Let's go, guys. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Halfway, 15 seconds. Keep pressing that back down. Keep pressing it down. Legs are slow and controlled. You got it, you got it. Press, press a little harder for me. Come on, last five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right, guys, we are done. A dirty 30, quick and dirty 30 lower. 30 minutes is exactly 29 minutes and 50 seconds. All right, so we hit it plus your warm up. You gotta warm up. Make sure you do cool down as well. All right, don't just take off. Have a good day. Um, let's see, so my max heart rate got to 147 today, and I burned about 322 calories in 30 minutes or so, excluding warm up. Um, so that's not bad. So ready, ready to energize me, ready to go for my 15 phone calls I got today. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of black tea coming my way today. All right, guys. Have a good day.